राधा गोविंद बोरुआ और आर जी बोरुआ वॉज अ विजनरी हु लेफ्ट एन इनक्रेडिबल मार्क ऑन द सोसाइटी एंड कल्चर ऑफ असाम ही वॉज अ मैन अ हेड ऑफ हिस टाइम ही इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लायन मैन ऑफ असाम बोरुआज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू जर्नलिज्म स्पोर्ट्स एंड कल्चर हैड अ सिग्निफिकेंट इम्पैक्ट on the society and cultural fabrication of assam Radha Govind Borua was born on 17th October 1900 in Sivsagar district of Assam He was the eldest son of revenue officer and a tea businessman Guna Govind Borua He was attracted to tea business and dreamt of becoming a businessman after trying his hand at businesses such as opium and trech he went to calcutta to learn accounting and bookkeeping while living in calcutta he got inspired by banks and went on to establish a bank in assam Archie Borua established the first bank of Assam the Imperial Bank in Dibrugarh district in the year of 1923 he was also the path founder of insurance businesses of Assam he also tried his best to develop tourism industry of Assam while working as a member of Assam Tourism Advisory Board Buru played an important role in promoting and marketing of Assam Tea and establishment of Assam Tea Auction Centre. His active leadership in the promotion and marketing of Assam Tea helped to increase its popularity and demand of Assam Tea. Archie Borua made a significant contribution to the print media of Assam. He along with his friends started publishing the Assam Tribune from Dibrugarh in the year of 1939 and later from Guwahati in the year of 1946 onwards. It is the first English newspaper in the northeastern region of India which is still one of the most widely read newspaper of the region he is also associated with the publication of weekly newspaper aham bani and daily newspaper dainik aham also popular literary magazine goryoshi he also established a book publishing corporation namely hahitya prakash along with tribuni press Archi Purva had a multifaceted personality who made significant contribution to various fields of Assam his contribution to society and culture of Assam is immense for which he is also named as the architect of modern Assam Archi Purva's efforts helped to move the open view celebration from under trees of villages to the stages and auditoriums of cities and towns he organized bihu for the first time in the field of lata hill of guwahati in 1952 he welcomed bihu of village to the city borwa was actively associated with several socio cultural organizations including jyoti rupa which promoted amateur theater in assam he was a strong advocate of women's right and played a crucial role in the formation of the aham pradeshik mahila samiti which is a women's organization that works for the welfare of women in assam he also served as the first mayor of guwahati municipal corporation Archie Purva is mostly acknowledged for his contribution in terms of upliftment of sports scenario in Assam. He turned 
a filthy area known as Morakholi on the eastern side of the present Pipurwa Road into a sports complex with multiple facilities. The Nehru Stadium, located in Guwahati, was built under his leadership. He also served as the president of the Assam Cricket Association for over a decade. Borua's birth anniversary is observed as the state sports day in Assam. He also established Assam Flying Club to help the youth of Assam to scale the sky high. In his later days, he penned his autobiography, Huanir Bate Bate, conveying the true essence of life flies and the impact he made on society. In 2000, he was honored with a postage stamp, part of a series of great leaders, society and political, along with Vijaya Lakshmi Pandit, Jaglal Chaudhary and R. Srinivasan. Ajipurva's visionary approach and unwavering dedication to the improvement of society has left an enduring impact on the history and culture of Assam. His profound influence continued to shape the region's trajectory, making him an unforgettable figure of Assam. Thank you so much for joining us on this incredible journey through the life of Radha Gobindo Borua. His legacy continues to inspire us even today. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more fascinating story like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.